Hey, so there's still water here. Hey, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Innovation Tower. This is the next great building in the Great Building series, and this is a contemporary era building. Uh, the first of the two that I'll be talking about uh, in this and the next video, because I'm doing one building per video. So let's talk about the Inno Tower. Um, Inno Tower, as it's often known as, or just Inno. Uh, you see the tile card thing here, whatever they call this in the game. And it's pretty cool. You look at the building, it's got this cool, it's got some greenery growing on it and a little patio thing up at the top. It almost looks like a like a ship. It's got a really kind of interesting design. You know, I never really looked at it. I have it built and it's just kind of there taking up space, uh, but never really paid too much attention to it. Uh, it's got a little car and some mopeds or whatever out front. It's neat. Neat. So either way, this is the Inno Tower. It's a contemporary era building it offers a couple things. One, it gives you some population, and it also gives you some forage points. So we'll talk about that in just a second. But it sure looks big, though, doesn't it? Looks really big. So here it is on the info card, or whatever they call it. The little great building tile card thing. And here it is in the wild. Just kind of lined up here next to some other cool, crazy-looking buildings. And let's see what it has uh, some info on it. So jumping over here. We're going to look at the, this is the forgevampires.fandom.com slash wiki. Uh, again, uh, one of the resources I like to use to learn about great buildings and symbolizing a bold departure from classical architecture. Hong Kong's innovation tower is a unique blend of innovation and intuitive, um, intuitive organization. Is this the shape of things to come? I wonder if this really exists. I've never researched it, so I'll have to go out and originally expected to be completed by the end of 2011. It was not finished until mid-2013, so yeah, I guess it does exist. That's cool. I'll have to go out and do some research on this later. Um, but either way, what's it cost, and why do we care about this in the game? So, contemporary era, 200, 550, 500, 250, 250. So, not too expensive. I mean, all things considered for, you know, a, a contemporary era building. I mean, we got a 550 and a 500. Uh, six by six, it looks bigger than that, doesn't it? I, 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 I could easily have guessed this is a 7x7, seven seven, but it's only a 6x6, six six, so that's kind of cool. It saves a little bit of real estate. Uh, road is required. A regular lane, mind you, these are uh, regular uh, lane roads here, too, which is kind of cool. Uh, production bonus is going to be for daily forage point production and all the time population. So let's see what we know. So looks like at level one, you get one FP. That's a pretty big footprint for one FP. Um, you get 100 population per square at level one. Um, level 10, you're at 15,310 population for 425 per square. That's pretty decent. Yeah, but you're only getting six FPs at level 10. Uh, so and it looks like it's kind of looking at the pattern. It looks like it's two levels per FP. So not crazy rewarding on the FP, but it's a cool building. And if you're interested in, uh, you know, gaining a whole bunch of great buildings that do, that sit there and just grind out FPs every day, um, this is part of that collection, right? And I'll have a video uh, that's going to cover that that angle of the game too. Let's say you wanted to see all great buildings that are doing FP production or have an FP component, uh, even like the Ark. It doesn't actually produce its own FPs, but it gives you a bonus on FPs. I'm going to do a video series or a, um, a playlist of all those great buildings, and maybe I'll do a recap video too. Um, that'd be kind of neat. It's like, hey, here they are, and here here's a timeline to get them. So that'd be kind of neat. I'm just going to get an idea as a future video. So if you have any other ideas for future videos, please leave them below. That'll really help. Um, kind of help kind of spawn some ideas so we can get some videos that can be helpful and insightful and, um, you know, kind of share with the community. So please leave them below. Or if you want to email me, you can do that too. It's like foe sir stillwater at gmail.com if you just want to email me too. That's cool. Um, so yep, this is the Anno Tower. Like I said, here it is. Here it is in the wild. It's kind of cool looking, but that's that's all there really is to it. But it's a lot of, a lot of square footage for six at level 10. So what am I at? I'm at level seven and I'm getting four. So that's really not a great return, but um, part of the collection. So <laughs> thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Again, uh, you know, share with me. What are your, what are your thoughts This for that video idea or other ideas or, you know, whatever else? Um, Maybe we'll do a live someday where we kind of we can kind of talk about different ideas of uh, different angles at the game or whatever. I don't know. Just I'm just having fun with it. It's just kind of a cool hobby. You know, playing the game and you know, kind of sharing 
sharing thoughts about the game. So take care. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Again, more great buildings coming. Bye.